Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation. I've gone ahead and I've set up a quick little example here. This cube is interpolating from a starting point to a random endpoint. Once it gets to its endpoint, it picks another random point and then continues on. Using interpolation, I'm using a constant version of the interpolation node. And if you notice, it is basically smoothly going from its start to endpoint. Even if the endpoint is a short or longer distance away, it is moving at a smooth, constant rate. And that is what interpolation is good for. Another example might be you want a mouse zoom in and zoom out with your scroll wheel. Well, it may be a 100 unit difference between your starting and ending, but you want to smoothly scroll based on your frame rate or over a set amount of time. You can use an interpolation node to let your camera smoothly zoom in. Other uses, for example, let's say this little cube is an artificial intelligence and the player constantly moves. Well, you're going to want it to constantly update its target. And using interpolation, you could have it update every tick or every 0.2 seconds or whatever you want its intelligence to be. And then it will update its destination and then it will use interpolation to determine where the next point is. Interpolation is basically you have a starting point and an ending point, and interpolation helps determine, based on your stepping or your rate, where it needs to move to along that line in order to get to its next point. So if you had a 0 to 100 value, let's say, and you wanted 5 points in between it, and you need to earn interpol interpolate between the two, then you might have 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 as your stepping points. Well, the nice thing about interpolation is you can use things like your delta time or other non-fixed values, and it will smoothly determine where your next stepping point is. So that way, if your frame rate is different using interpolation and the delta frame, you can still have a smooth movement between a start and end destination. And since it's not fixed or predetermined, it's great for AI and stuff like that where things can be done in real time. Now, there are... 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 interpolate nodes, not counting LERP, that come with Unreal Engine 4 at this time. Each one has specific functions and uses. We have our Ease, which is basically a configurable one with a few different options for easing in and out, basically smoothly starting or stopping. We have C Interp 2, which is for color, T Interp, which is for transform. We have three different floats. We have two different rotations, two vector 2Ds, and two vector 3Ds. All these will be covered in detail on each of their individual videos with examples, so you can go ahead and look for those. But to show basically how this worked, the vector 2D is taking the actor's location each frame, figuring out where its location is based on the time I've told it to do, and the delta time for the distance we want between the start and the destination, it's returning me an X and Y that I'm using to set the actor's new location. And then once I get to the location, I go ahead and set a new location. So as you can see there, it's pretty simple. It's There's a lot of nodes to hook up, but once you set it up, it's a great way to have a nice, smooth transition from a point to another point using indeterminate steps between each point. I know it's a little bit complex for the explanation, but if you watch the other videos as well as go over the tutorials that are here, you can go ahead and understand it. And like I said, it's a great way to basically smoothly go from one point to another over a set amount of time. So there you go. That is interpolation. Please check out the other videos. You will find what is videos covering all the other interpolation nodes. If there's any questions, please feel free to leave comments below.